We do a blessings and prayer segment around here uh, so that we can we can ventilate or we can ask for help if we need it uh, so that we can ask for for prayers or blessings or whatever is your word in, in your in your tradition um, for the things that are on your mind, for the people that are on your mind, for the situations that are on your mind, uh, that we might bring peace, compassionate service. Uh, and care for the earth community to those to those ideas. Uh, so Phil's going to open the chat up uh, so that you all are able to put uh, anything in there for for which you would like the blessings and prayers. Um, I have been thinking a lot about donkeys today uh, in the last week or so. Um, I was raised Presbyterian. Y'all have heard I'm a preacher kid. Uh, so, you know, I had a lot of influence from my, from my father and I spent a lot of time being stuck doing Christmas services, uh, and pretty much anything that my dad wanted me to do as a, as a little kid, fabulous guy, but you know what? I got a little old for those Christmas services and I got a little irritated that sometimes in some places they included live animals. Um, ours did not. Uh, but some churches nearby did have live nativity scenes. And I remember wishing that we had animals and at the same time being worried for those animals. It was very, very confusing as a child. And I was especially uh, fond of donkeys who got this bad rap at our church because we used the King James Bible. And so they were called asses. And every time they were called asses, all of the kids would giggle in the congregation. And I always thought that wasn't terribly, um, terribly reverent. So I am going to put one link in here for blessings and prayers today for ways to take actions for donkeys if you feel so called just like i did at the beginning of our service of ways to take action for reindeers um we have a blessing video today from one of our aspiring animal chaplains who's currently in our program she created this beautiful beautiful blessing for her homework uh, last month and when i spotted the rescue donkey uh, I was in. And so I asked Jeannie if she would come here uh, today and if we could share that uh, as a tribute to all the animals who aren't uh, faring well in nativity sets or at malls or parks this time of year where they're taken uh, for, for holiday reasons, animals who are in shelters, animals who are captive and in all sorts of different places. So if you could bring, I see Jeannie is up. Thank you, Phil. Um, so Jeannie Joseph is the creator of the Act Resilient Method to help servicemen and women deal with extreme stress, PTSD, and related symptoms. For this work, she was given President Obama's Silver Volunteer Service Award. In addition, she's the founder of the Human Animal Connection, a nonprofit organization that brings people and therapy dogs together, oh, therapy animals, excuse me, together for the benefit of both. The program is free for veterans, active duty, first responders, healthcare providers, and anyone feeling stress in the line of duty. Through the program, therapeutic interactions with animals help humans relieve stress, restore resilience, increase their enthusiasm for life. The program has included over 4,000 service members, veterans, youth, elderly, and incarcerated people. So we're going to play um, Jeannie's Blessing, and then I will uh, take a little time attending to what you all have put in the chat. Jeannie? Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Thank you for sharing this with us. Um, would you like to give us just a moment or, or so about what inspired this practice for you? Well, I just want to say one thing about donkeys because they, they have been given a terrible rap, but they are so sensitive. They will only do what feels safe for them. And so they can teach us a lot about paying attention to where safety is in our body. So being with them is extraordinary. I mean, all animals are extraordinary, so I'm not trying to single them out in that way, but there is something very beautiful about being with donkeys because of their absolute presence. That's, I guess I'll, that's the way I would describe it. So I hope you'll have the opportunity to go be with a donkey sometime soon. Beautifully said. Thank you so much. Phil, if you could play the video for us. May we remember an animal blessing by Jeannie Joseph. May we breathe into our animal nature, remembering more fully with each breath. Who is breathing? Is it your breath or is it our breath we are sharing? You could take a deep breath or you could let your breath take you. 
Let it be as slow or as wide as it knows to be, surrounding you in a sweet sea of source, perfectly gathering awareness, perfect as it is, lovely awakening the sleeping tiger that is you. Remember a time when a loving creature was so close, you feel the soft rhythm of her breath on your skin. Like a time when a small white donkey rescued from careless hands met me for the first time, slowly inhaling me, discovering everything he needs to know about who I am. May we remember to allow our breath to lead us deeper into our animal nature. Breathe weaving our true connection And so it is. Thank you so much, Jeannie. And also offering prayers and blessings of beingness and awareness and of loveness and of compassion to uh, Jessica asks us for the squirrels, all the squirrels of the world, (laughs) shelter animals and workers. Prayers for herself as she undergoes a medical procedure tomorrow. We will keep you in our minds, Jessica. And Judy asked for our elderly animals and all that comes with their aging. Amen. And the elderly human animals who are feeling their aging too, I will toss in there. Jeff asked for prayers for his rescue pup, Archie, who's in kidney failure. Prayers for Archie. May uh, may he be comforted. May he feel... Uh, Feel the energy flow through him at this time. Debbie asks, Debbie and the Gang of Fur, uh, who is often here with us, asks for a prayer for all the innocent victims of human conflict, regardless of their species. Claire adds for turkeys and lambs and all animals eaten at the holiday season. Karen would like to extend our prayers for Dollar, who has transitioned, and for Lee, who loves him. And Nadia includes the old cat rescue that moved in with <laughs> that moved in with her last week to die in a safe place full of love. Patty asked for prayers for Minnie Motor and for Mark and Ruth for all the animals being dumped at shelters that they can find homes where they'll be cared for in love and that they do not end up with a needle instead. Lots of love, Jeannie, for your blessing. And hello, future people. Whatever is on your mind right now as you're watching this, blessings and prayers for anything that is on your mind that is heavy or for any joys in your life uh, that may have happened or any wins uh, that might be going on that you might be part of or you might have read about. Uh, We have challenges and we have our joys as well. And finally, just to wrap up for Roseanne, for Roseanne's cat, Rue, who had multiple health issues and whom you had to say goodbye recently. May Rue's memory be a blessing. And we remember Bodie and Daisy for Susan. All of you, if you would help uh, help me for this final blessing and prayer, Phil, if you could bring up our slide with the words that we say at the end of every one of our Sunday services. And if you all would Feel comfortable sharing this in your mind or out loud, depending on where you are. May all creatures everywhere be happy and free. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our lives contribute to this happiness and this freedom for all. May it be so. Amen. I mean, so mote it be. Om shanti, shanti, shanti. And I'll add for Jeannie. And so it is. Whatever your closing word is.